Welcome everybody, it is time for another fruit that has been sent to me. This one uh, is sent to me by the same people that sent me the sprouted coconut, which I did uh, a few weeks back. This is the gamboge, also known as the yellow mangosteen, Latin name Garcinia tinctoria. Now what's interesting about this is that I've reviewed this already. Okay, maybe that's not super interesting. Uh, I've reviewed this back years ago in um, Penang. I went to the tropical fruit farm in Penang, but uh, I didn't really give it that much attention. Uh, I didn't know what it was, and back then I was pretty new to this whole fruit exploring thing, and um, this was the first Garcinia that I've ever had besides purple mangosteens. Now, purple mangosteens, those are easy to find in the U.S. Everything else is super, super hard to find. So now that I've had Gosh, I don't even know. Like, seven, eight different kinds of Garcinias? I've had a bunch now. Um, I want to try this again, where I can give it like a little bit more attention now that I have a greater understanding about Garcinia fruits. And Garcinias are my favorite kind of fruit. I, I love Garcinia fruits, so um, I'm excited to try this one again. And what's interesting about these is that they are known to be really, really sour. They're more sour than a lot of the other Garcinia fruits. So um, I remember that from when I had it way back when, and I'm pretty sure it's going to still be sour now. But uh, yeah, take a look at it. We got it here. It's uh, When this was sent to me, it was actually green, but they do ripen off the tree somewhat. So uh, a few days later, it turned yellow, and that's how you can tell that it is ready to eat. What kind of stands out to me about the shape of this is that if you look over here, there's a little, a little bump. And this was actually like weeping out some kind of sap uh, or some sort of liquid as it was ripening. It's like super easy to cut through. The rind on this is quite soft compared to uh, purple mangosteens. And there we go. So the inside is yellow which is, uh, makes it a way to like help identify this, because we have a few fruits that are yellow on the outside that are Garcinias, but on the inside they are pure white. It is probably the most sour Garcinia variety that I've had, but it's not intolerable. Say like a lemon on a scale of 1 to 10 is a 10, this is probably like a, well, like a seven. If you don't like sour things, you probably won't like it. If you do like things that are a little tart, this is really nice. Hmm. There's a seed on the inside. It's uh, large and brown. Looks a little bit like the uh, acha cha seed or another one like that not like the purple mangosteen. The texture of this one's a little different. It's a little softer and maybe like a little pastier. It's not like purple mangosteen, which is kind of like gel-ish. It does have like some of those mangosteen kind of flavors in it, a little bit like the acha-cha, a little bit like the purple mangosteen, but it has kind of like a mango kind of flavor to it. It's got kind of like a creaminess to it. And if you look on the inside, you can see that there is quite a thick um, rind to it. The rind is as thick probably as a purple mangosteen, but it's a lot softer. You can cut like right through that like nothing. And the purple mangosteen is like super fibrous. Uh, it's actually like quite succulent, which is not like the other rinds I've had. Like the skin just peels right off. So I'm gonna actually try some of this. That's good. That's actually really good. And it's a lot more... Ooh, it's a lot more sour. It's good tasting. Similar to how the fruit tastes. But if you just like cranked up that sour meter. Yeah, that's nice. People actually use this to make uh, juice out of, and you can dry these out and make tea out of it. And it doesn't have like any astringency to it. You know, purple mango steam, the rinds are supposed to be really, really good for you, but they also give you terrible dry mouth and you have like a weird chemical kind of taste to it. 
This does not have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take these rinds, I'm going to blend them, and try to make a juice out of it. Okay, so I've got my two fruits in there. I took the stems off, and uh, I'm going to add one cup of water. And I have no idea what I'm doing, but uh, let's give this a try. I'm going to just like blend this up. Just throw a little bit of sugar in there. Maybe like a teaspoon. That is really good. Um, you know, I've had a lot of Garcinias, and this isn't... Like, the fruit itself is not, like, my favorite Garcinia out there, but it's definitely up there. It's, I like the ones that are a little bit more sour. You know, purple mangosteens are great, but like the, I like to have like a nice little kick to it as well, so this definitely does give you that kick. But most interesting about this is the rind. Um, you know, the rind is delicious, and that is unique to Garcinia fruit. So if you do end up buying these, uh, hold on to those rinds. Don't, don't throw those away. You can get these yourself if you're interested at uh, miamifruit.org. And they're actually like fairly affordable too. It's not not too bad. Some of the fruit he has is quite expensive because of how rare it is, but I think the trees are pretty proliferant. So um, these can be yours without like breaking the bank. So go check it out. I know that if you order um, right now, they are on a waiting list because they're I don't think they're in season right now. So you'll have to pre-order them. But as soon as they're available they'll be sent to you. So um, put your name in soon if you want to get these yourself. Uh, otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video, and uh, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my beverage. Okay, I only have one minute, so I have to make this fast. Guys, uh, click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that bell. I don't know what the bell does, but it probably gives an angel its wings, so click on it. That dislike button, don't click that one. Uh, go to the comments, leave a comment if you have something to say. Go to this description, because in the description there is a link to my Patreon page where you can help contribute to my channel and make it grow. There's also a link to my website where you can see a backlog of videos, more information, and also uh, you can buy a t-shirt at my website now. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to the channel Smarter Every Day. Smarter Every Day is a mega contributor on Patreon. They're really helping me out. If you like what I'm doing with fruit, check out his channel because it basically covers everything involving science. It's really interesting. Also around there, there should, be, there should be a couple of videos right here. These are the videos to my next week's episode, if it's up, and last week's episode, where you can check that out. I still have three seconds, guys, so thank you so much. Bye-bye.